hey guys it's your girl leah here back again with another feature for you guys so as you guys can see by the title you already know what i'm about to be doing honey yes in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i made my beautiful and simple text-based intro that i made for myself so i'm sure you guys saw it in the beginning of this video i did put it as my intro so yeah that's the intro that we'll be making today okay so we're just gonna hop right into it okay honey so we're just gonna go directly onto safari and we're gonna search for light pink plain background so you're gonna click on image and they should be like different types of pink background so we're going for something like this one that is pinkish whitish so we're just gonna keep scrolling until we find something similar so this is the pink right here it's called colorful pink blurred background so this is it right here it should have like when you look closely it should have like um circles in it like white circles coming out so yeah that's the background that we're going for oh this one is pretty so i'm gonna save this one for another intro or something save the photos great so once you have that background saved we're gonna go directly on to cap cut and you're gonna add new project and here is where you're going to add the background but i didn't save it oh my gosh Okay, you're gonna hold it down, save to photos, great. Come back here and you're gonna add it and then you're going to delete this and we're gonna open this up to like eight seconds. Great, once it's at eight seconds, okay, don't click on it and you're gonna scroll until you find format 16 by nine and then you're gonna open this up, great. It should look like this. Once it's like this, we're gonna add an effect over it directly. Effects, video effects. And we're gonna go into, and we're gonna look for details. Click on details and we're gonna use the first one, which is Firefly. And it should look like this. Great. So once that is done, open this up all the way to the end. Leave it as it is. And we're gonna go on to PixArt. You're gonna click on the plus sign, scroll until you find the transparent background. Click on text and I'm going to write Leah the plug. Well, I'm going to write Leah first. And the font that I'm using is called High Spirit. You guys don't have to download it directly to PixArt. You guys could download it to Fonto directly if it'll be more easier because PixArt is kind of hard to download fonts too. So you guys could download it directly to Fonto. So I actually downloaded this font called High Spirit. You guys could get this font from the font.com. I will be putting all the font names in the description down below so that you guys could go and download the font. So this is the font right here. I'm going to place it right here like this. And then I'm going to type the plug in capital letters. And we're going to use the font called Alexander Grotes Bold, but you guys don't have to use the same font. So I'm going to place it like right here like this. I'm going to bring Leah forward, move up, and I'm going to place her like this because I want it to look like it's connected. Great. And then I'm going to click on Leah color, texture. Okay, gradient. No, not gradient. Color. And I'm going to put it in gray. And also the plug, I'm going to put it in gray as well. Color, gray, the dark gray. And we're going to save it. Great. Once that part is saved, we're going to click back on Leo and we're going to click on texture and okay, we're going to go on to Safari real quick and we're going to search for silver metallic background and you guys are going to save any type of metallic background that you guys find in silver. So just make sure you're clicking on a good one. So I'm going to save this one, save the photos and I'm going to click on that. Then I'm going to for the plug as well, we're going to use the same texture great so this is pretty light so let's see if we find something else a little bit mixed up like this one so shall i leave it like this i'm gonna leave it like this once that is saved we're gonna come back here onto cap cut and here is where we're going to be adding my name in the dark gray we're gonna open it up in the middle like this great oh so i actually made them slide in so i saved them separately so as you guys can see it was saved separately the Leah and the plug. So I actually had them saved separately already. So I'm gonna use that. So I'm gonna delete this and you guys could go and start back the process by saving them separately. If you have like two names you would like to add or if it's just one name, then that's good for you. Great, so I'm gonna click on add overlay. I'm gonna add from the previous ones that I saved before. So I'm gonna put Leah right here like this and then I'm gonna add the plug right underneath it like this, bring her here great so it should look like this and then we're gonna open it up all the way to the end of the video because it's going to be there for the end of the video great 
and we're gonna make them slide in from different directions so i'm gonna make this one slide from the left one second i'm just gonna leave it at five seconds and then this one we're gonna make it slide from the right well to the right great and once that is done okay it's gonna slide in and then once it slide in here is where we're going to make it like change into the silver we're gonna come on to here and then we're gonna add overlay so we're gonna click on add overlay and we're gonna add the silver background this time so we're gonna try to add it over the gray so as you guys can see you're gonna open it up onto your liking so i'm gonna put it like this not bad and let's see how it's gonna look for the other one the plug great so leah i think i'm gonna bring it up just a bit great that's not bad okay the gray is showing a little bit too much on the l great so we're gonna leave it like this great so once it's like this we're gonna make them fade onto it so we're gonna click on fade great we're gonna put it to like one second because we want it to have like a good transition and we're gonna open them all the way to the end great so it should look like this so it should come in like this once that is done i think i'm gonna add effect video effect and i'm going to add a frame so i'm going to go into the section frame and i'm going to add a frame over it like this one okay i think i'll have to save it first since it's going to the actual size of how the screen was before i'm gonna delete this and what i'm going to do is i'm gonna add my instagram and tiktok account well i'm gonna add my instagram and tiktok social username so i'm gonna click on add text and i'm gonna add at it's me leah the plug style we just want it in white we're just gonna change the font to something simple and slim so i think i'm gonna use okay we're going to use ethnocentric we're gonna use that yes that's the exact one that i used i'm gonna bring it down and then i'm gonna open it all the way to the end but i'm gonna make it come in after everything and then i'm gonna make it come in now bring it down here just beneath it like this i'm gonna make it okay we're gonna go on to animation and we're gonna make it show right great so it's gonna come in like that one second great so everything should be looking like this great and then it's gonna come in like that but i think for the silver i think i'm gonna make it i'm gonna make it fade in five seconds because it's taking a little too long to fade in so i'm gonna put it back to five seconds great so that's much better and once that is done that's gonna come out okay so i'm gonna click on text and i'm gonna bring it up just a bit more so once that is done what i'm gonna do now is we're gonna leave it just how it is and we're gonna go directly onto pix art we're gonna delete this and we're gonna keep the transparent background add photo and we're gonna add that background the pink background we're going to scroll until we find shape and we're gonna shape it to how we want it to be like a subscribe button so i'm gonna put it like this turn down the border size save and make it smaller and we're gonna add shadow behind this so the shadow we're gonna turn up the opacity turn on the blur just a little bit and position it to zero once that is done we're gonna click on text and we're gonna click on subscribe great and this time we're going to use arbitron bring it in the middle smaller and we're gonna change the color to gray let me make sure that i use arbitron okay i use another font so we're gonna change that font because that font is a little too bold we're going to use a font from the font.com it's actually a paid font but they do have some non-paid font which is free you guys can use those font so the font that i use is called heading pro white book italic so it's a long font but yeah that's the font that i use and we're gonna save that great once it's saved we're going to delete everything off of it now and we're going to go into stickers and search for mouse click and we're just gonna take this one right here and we're going to save it great once that is saved we're gonna come back onto here and we're gonna go on to the text that says it's me the plug and there is where we're going to add overlay and we're gonna add the subscribe button so i'm gonna open it up all the way to the end here like this and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to make it fade in one second great and once it's fading in great i'm going to add overlay and i'm gonna add the mouse so i'm gonna make the mouse really small and bring her down all the way until we can't see her great we're going to add a keyframe move up a bit 
add another keyframe move just a little bit after the red add a keyframe and then move up a bit add another keyframe so the first keyframe is control need to move on to this second keyframe the second keyframe we're gonna bring it up here like this and then the third keyframe okay I'm gonna delete the third keyframe and the second keyframe and the fourth keyframe so the first one is when it's hiding and then the second keyframe is when it's going to move up now we're going to add another keyframe so we're going to add a keyframe as we go plus and we're going to make it small and then move up a bit more add another keyframe open it up back again and then we're going to move a little bit further add another keyframe and bring it down so it should look like this great so we just did the click so we're gonna move on to where it's gonna click like right here and then we're going to click on audio effect and we're gonna search for mouse click as well or we could just tap mouse so it's gonna be mouse single click great so we're gonna add it here so it should be like this great and then it's gone so we're gonna save this in the highest quality Great, once it's saved in highest quality, new project, and you're gonna add it back. And here's where you're gonna click on effect, video effect, and you're gonna search for frame, and you're gonna add this frame, which is Cam Carter Tree. Great. So you're gonna add this for the entire video. Great. And then you're gonna make the video fade out. Great, so it should look like this. And there you have it, honey. So yeah, that's basically it for this video guys so yeah hopefully this video helped you guys in making your own text-based intro if you don't want like an image-based one so yeah make sure to like comment share and subscribe turn on that notification bell so that you guys can know whenever your girl posts okay and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video bye